welcome to Nuked Radio. This is episode 36. Today is Thursday, May 31st, 2012. With me today is Jules, and we have Sherry Edwards uh, on the show today, and we're very excited to have her here. We actually just lost her. Jules and I were talking, and she did a, a voice scan on Jules just before we went on air, and then we lost the call. So we're trying to get her back right now, but I'd just like to go over some information about her uh, wonderful company. I was very fortunate to meet her two weeks ago when we were introduced on Wide Awake News with Charlie McGrath. Sherry is a pioneer of the use of vocal profiling and individuated sound. Her website is Sound Health Options. Sherry is very highly regarded in this field. She is imaginative, innovative, inspiring, thought-provoking as is the technology that she's developed, and she provides us with an extraordinary glimpse into the medicine of the future. Sherry has been accused of being too scientific by some and too esoteric by others. In actuality, she's a bridge between both. Her curiosity and her desire to make a difference in the world led her to develop a scientific format for computational biology versus via the sounds of the human voice. Sherry calls this new field of discovery sonistry, although it has been her focus for the past 30 years. Just as there is a system of basic elements that we call chemistry, there's a basic set of sound frequencies that can monitor, predict, and manage biological function. And I know that sounds very complex, but Sherry is also a wonderful communicator and will explain to us how this works and how this technology can be applied to the health effects of radiation from Fukushima. Her work has been the subject of several documentaries, and she's also the recipient of the Scientist of the Year Award by a New Frontiers of Science organization. So as soon as we get her call back, we will have her fill us in. Um, I'm Sherry, here. You're there. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being on Nuked Radio with us today. You know, this field is really a new concept to a lot of us. You've been doing this for a really long time. I have, and it just came from a very intrinsic talent that I had. But it, it's an absolute honor to be here. And um, I don't know how I lost you, but just all of a sudden you were gone. So I just continued to work. Well, I'm glad you're here. Could you explain to our listeners the basics of frequency in nature? at it in terms of a young man going through puberty and his voice changes in response to his hormones you know his voice gets really high and squeaky well we took that same concept kind of backwards and began to look at your nutritional needs uh, like we just did something for Jules and I she has two things that are low that's causing her body not to methylate her her food that she's intaking so we look at food and nutrition and muscles and genes and diagnostics and we can tell what's going on with the body because your brain really is a central processing unit that runs on math and that math runs on this neural network all through your body so if we can send a signal to your finger to make it move and that finger skin picks it up and sends it back to the brain then we can support a frequency that your brain somehow dismissed that's a real case it was a doctor who broke his finger and could they couldn't do anything with it and we were able to send the signal back and now he can move his finger took about 20 minutes that is on YouTube so just lots of miracle kinds of things like that Um, people send us their wave files and we look at them. We had a lady this week who had all over body pain. Nobody could figure out what it was. And they had her on uh, Oxycontin and several other really bad pain pills. But her muscle fibers weren't getting rid of all of her trash. So we know how to get rid of muscle trash. And we put her on the sounds. And the um, pain started to go away. There is another YouTube about that uh, from a radio station or a TV station. They challenged us to do it on the news of a lady that had fibromyalgia. 
uh, this lady that we did this week has fibromyitis, uh, where there's actual inflammation, but fibromyalgia. And right on the news, in seven minutes, we were able to take her pain away. Now, I know from being on Charlie's show with you that your company will be stepping out soon in a very big way with some gout research that you've done. Yes. Well, we, uh, we've been doing that for years, but what ticked me off about it um, is the government just gave a university $1.1 million to study gout and find a diagnosis. And we had already done a presentation for the National Institute of Health five or six years ago. They knew we we're here. And they told us at the time, don't tell anybody you can do this. Nobody will believe you. So here we are with the, I can't say cure, with the antidote for gout pain. They know it, yet they gave a million dollars to somebody else. It, it's already done. That's, that's bizarre. Well, maybe it's really how the government is. They don't know what one hand is doing over the other. Uh -huh. So we have a cure. Let's not look at it because it's from some frumpy little housewife in Ohio that only did it from a very esoteric talent. And, yes, she gets results, but uh, we really need it explained by some prestigious university, so let's give them the money. I'm not happy about that, can you tell? <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you, too, frequency can be used for evil purposes as well, like harp. Is that correct? Absolutely, and there is a combination of frequencies that can put people in hypothermia, and they just die. We have governors on our machines that won't allow that, but that was a strange discovery because it just takes away the body heat. But at the same time, we can give heat to like an orchard, and that's a good thing, but at the same time, it has the bad part. And... From what I uh, read and understand about that, they can use that also to, like, cause aggression? Yes. Um, we can see what biochemically is going on with that, or we can use the personality part of it to see what's unbalanced. Like, we just did um, one on somebody before the show to test and see if we could do it. And it's like a three- or four-page report, and she looked at it and said, yeah, that's me. So it's through the voice, just like I was sarcastic and said, yeah, uh, these people are, are crappy in what they did to me. You could tell that I was upset that somebody else got the million dollars that really belonged to me. And we have tuned our ears in some way that we know when people are telling the truth, we don't always act on it. We know when they're sarcastic, upset, depressed, angry. There's a sound coming out of your ear called an odoacoustic emission, and it's the interruptions in that emission from the ear that your own voice makes at a, a super kind of low frequency that gives off the signal that tells you what's going on if you are aware or astute at all. Some people can't pick up those clues at all, but some people have an area of their hearing open that allows them to pick it up. And I think we have been doing this for centuries, and I think some of it's being just bred out of us by listening to electricity all the time and traffic noises and, and whatever, just like with Jules. She has a thing about halfway, it's, a, it's still at a plus one, but electronic equipment is a problem for her and she's she's around too much of it right now when we took her print because she shows up to have a problem at 120 cycles per second which is electricity well it's absolutely fascinating and we're going to also find out how this can be applied in terms of radiation from fukushima as soon as we come back you're listening to nuked radio And we are back with Sherry Edwards from Sound Health Options. Sherry, can you give us 
your websites, your YouTube? How do people find you and connect with you? Well, there's several people called Sound Health, so it's easier on YouTube to find it under my name, Sherry with an A, S-H-A-R-R-Y, Edwards. There's classes there. We have free classes up on several sites. There is a site called Nano, N-A-N-O, voice, nanovoice.org, that we have free software that people can download it so they can look at their own personality. They can do this in the privacy of their own home. You know, my husband's having an affair, and I hate him, and I want this to happen, and blah, blah, blah. And they can see where their anger is and what's happening with with their body and how that's really causing them to be off balance. You can also look at Obama or Kathleen Sebelius or any of these lying folks that are tending to run the government or think they can run the government. Um, Obama has really changed. He's, he started out with some seriousness, but he is one of the largest um, <laughs> liars that I have ever seen. Normal is 42, and his lying scale is over a 1,000. Wow. And it's, and it's all based on his idea. It's going to be his way, and nobody better get in his way. We have a lot of these profiles uh, posted on our website. So you can go into soundhealthoptions.com and go to profiles. There's also classes there. Uh, we have a whole series of free classes and free software that we are providing to people. And one of them is the radiation software that was done on April 21st, and we've recorded it, and we have it uh, as a link for people to download the software, to register it, to download the manuals and the textbooks. It's because... They have lied to us so much about what this radiation exposure is. And there has been radiation exposure for Jules. She's had a hit on cobalt 60, but uh, she's got it handled now. And it's some, something from food she ate was, um, was the cause of it. But her body's pretty much taking care of it. And I was going to look and see how her body was taking care of it. While we're on break. Oh, she has um, used B12 as an antidote for it. And we have charts for people who have been exposed so they can look at this. So here's the idea. If we give people the software and it just gives them a report and say, okay, you've been exposed. And let's look at this cobalt 60. You got it from, indig from ingestion. And what it's messed up is your calcium cell salts. So your body's not going to replenish itself. It's messing up your liver, your NAD. And this is all on a chart. We could send this uh, to anybody who wants it. If they want to send me a, a request, just Sherry Edwards at Gmail. And remember, Sherry's with a day. I will send them this. It's on a little PowerPoint thing. And we'll send it to them. But it's on the site where they can also download the actual website, or not the website, the software. Can I find that and give you the address? Sure. When, well, when, let, you, when you and I do, were... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, well, on break, I'll find the, the site or the address, and I'll send it over to you. I, I posted a, a video of when you and I were on Charlie's show together, and you did a vocal profile on me, which picked up, right away on my uh, my back injury and fibromyalgia, and you were also able to determine that I had had recent iodine-131 exposure and zinc, possibly from a fuel fire, which we found out recently from soil and beef samples um, has occurred quite recently. I didn't think of it at the time, Sherry, but I had actually been having pains in my thyroid that day and the next day. And something I've seen remarked on and numerous times is some people especially Chernobyl survivors, can sense increased radiation by thyroid pain. And mm -hmm. this seems to be more prevalent in people who have been exposed to a lot of medical tests as well, like CAT scans and MRIs in the past. Well, it's a slightly different kind of 
of iodine, although it's around the same frequency. But we have a whole program for thyroid. If people want it checked, they could just go to the site and look up uh, clinical options. We do it online free for people on Tuesday evenings. So if they want to jump on happy hour, um, we can look at what's going on. But we have programs to give away, and it's because I hate this Obama scare. Maybe somewhere there was good intentions, but it's turning out to be horrible results. So we're putting out a nutrition software for free with class, post-traumatic stress disorder for anybody who has depression or returning soldiers or whoever, a Parkinson's one because these GMO foods and these modified wheats have really started a problem with muscle cell signaling. We have one free again, to teach people how to tell if they're allergic to something. The one coming up this Saturday is on the flu season and to tell how, if they've been exposed and what, what to do about it, what the antidotes are. And then we have one upcoming that's pre-vaccination risk factors. So if you're, you or your child has been exposed and you think there's the problem, we can help you look at it. We can do it for you or we'll give you the software and have you do it for yourself. We'd much rather you do it for yourself because this is about self-health. Uh -huh. We want to help people start a bioacoustic center or whatever they want to call it. Every place in the United, well, every place in the world because we're world known. But think about this. Here's a big chemtrail in your community and it's dropping on everybody and your people are feeling bad. Okay, come over to the house and let's look at your print. And you can see what they've dropped on us and you can, we can give you the antidote. So we don't ever have to be under government control about our health anymore because these are the tools. These five or six is enough to help you get started. And if you're not into helping people, you just want to make money, you can make 30 to $50 an hour um, doing this. Uh -huh. If people... If people know you can do it, um, you have more work than you possibly need. Just like with, with Charlie pulled you over, you didn't really believe in any of this. But once you saw the results, that made the difference. And that's why we're giving it away. If we charge for it, people, I don't know if that, I believe that or not. But we're giving away the personality profiler, which we did on Jules. And that will tell you who you really are. You know, it's like that movie, The Secret. It told you what you want, what you can have, but it didn't tell you what's real for you. Okay, you want your neighbor's car, or your neighbor wants your, his car. Who gets it? How about the neighbor's wife? Who? It'll tell you gets whether you really want that neighbor's wife or not, and that's just a really extreme example, but it'll tell you who you are at your core. In dealing with Jules, she loves helping people, but only if they'll help themselves. She can talk people into things with words. Uh, she loves to plan ahead. She has some stress in her kidneys. She has some stress with oxygenation. And the wet, moist tissues in her body, like in her nose and lungs, that's what gets attacked first. And so if, if you know that can happen, then you know what to do about it. And I want that for everybody. What allergy? Look at all the stuff that is causing allergic reactions. Thousands of dollars spent at the doctor, little pinpricks all over. In an afternoon, in an hour's class, in this free software, you can test whatever you're allergic to, uh, from bananas to your next door neighbor. Well, when we come back, we have a few volunteers that we'll be bringing on with us, so stay tuned. You're listening to Nuked Radio. Just like little fish You should learn when to go You should learn how And welcome back to Nukes Radio. We have Mr. Bob Tuscan on the line from the Bob Tuscan Show on Oracle. Bob, tell us what time your show is on. Well, I also broadcast with Orion, of course, and I'm on Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So check it out if you so choose to. We talk a lot about radiation. In fact, I was looking for you last night because 
I found this Huffing and Puffington Post article in which they said, oh, those tunas that had, you know, dangerous levels of radiation. Oh, well, that that's okay because it, it's within the EPA's made-up fairy tale of safe, and I'm doing air quotes, radiation. Yeah. And the CEO of uh, one of the fishing companies came out and said to stay away from it last night too that was posted wow. on any news kind of late sherry are we uh are we ready to do bomb yes we can set up we just need 30 seconds of his voice and he can talk about being hungry if he wants are we just going to test his radiation exposure um yeah that and maybe um do you want your personality profile to yeah, Bob? give me anything you got i'm all for it <laughs> I'm actually sitting here, and I'll just go ahead and, and rant for 30 seconds here. Although there's an echo. Is that part of the deal? Well, that's what happens when we do this on air. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll well, we'll bear with, with it. Okay, I think so it might be Daniel. Daniel? Let's okay, see. so if everybody would turn off their mics, yeah, and I, I will turn off the mics. No, no, that's her. It's All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll have to deal with the echo. Just well, Jerry, I think it's you. Well, I, I'm using the same mic for Skype as I used to record here. That's the problem. Okay. I, don't, okay. I, don't, I, okay. Understand. I understand. Talk to me until um, I tell you to stop. All right. Fair, All right, enough. fair enough. Sitting back Sitting here, back as, here as, as we're watching, watching the Bilderberg, Bilderberg coverage. coverage. Shepard and Bellis, Bellis, Hotel Hub, 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 down there. Down there. He's talking, He's talking with all the various, all the various activists, activists down there, down there going, in, going in, uh, watching, uh, watching what's happening, happening watching these elites, elites come in. Come in. And, it's, and it's it's pretty crazy. It's, pretty it's crazy. like the it's rock, like concert. rock concert. I mean, Alex yeah, Jones comes Jones down, down, they start they chanting. Start uh, it really is overwhelming to watch what's happening. And then they had an activist walk in and say that he wasn't going to back down, that he wasn't going to stop until he got all the police that were working there and their badge numbers saying that they were in violation of the Logan Act, which is 100% accurate. Uh, it seems to me like uh, the Bilderberg is finally getting more coverage than ever before. We had a link posted at the Drudge Report, and I don't trust the Drudge Report. I, I think it's quite sketchy what he's doing. But at the DrudgeReport.com, it actually linked up to our Bilderberg coverage, which was really cool. And uh, you'll hear Shep Ambellis from the IntelHub.com throughout the day going on various shows to update what's happening. Uh, they got a lot of social events going on. It seems to me, like I said, more like a rock concert for these guys. Uh, a truther rock concert, if you will. It's pretty cool stuff. I'm digging it. So uh, that's what I've been doing here, and I got to go uh, get the pregnant wife something to eat here, and uh, I'll be back to continue watching this stuff and helping support the team back here at the home studio. I'm kind of back home support, as you know, when you're Expecting a child, you can't just get up and go to these sorts of things as much as I'm there in spirit in the sense. And I don't think the Bilderberg is the end all, mind you. I, I think there's more going on. But I, I think it's interesting what these people are doing and how much uh, of a movement is behind Occupy Bilderberg. Okay, we got it. I figured. Um, I can tell you Bob can do at least three things at once. He is operating on many levels simultaneously, and maybe he doesn't even know that. His um, biggest issue is spiritual justice. See, I wonder if he already knew that. Spiritual justice. That means justice not by man's law, but justice by spiritual law. Uh, hmm. You have most of your energy in A and A sharp. Now, unless you have a problem with your immune system, that means you're very interested in spiritual outcomes your justice is in the area of imagination or as it has not happened yet so you're planning or looking forward to or trying to imagine a better world dealing with justice uh, you're not really sharing freely with us because you have a lot of information missing from your chart but i will send it to you anyway and what this says as we just hit the information from uh let's just look at today uh you have an intuitional ability to hear beyond the words people are s speaking 
Uh, you are guided by an inner source of strength. You allow others to use your strength. Actively seeking the answers of life is a priority to you. Your sense of self-power is combined with your strong sense of justice. You do for others just because they ask, not because they deserve. You don't always take time for that spiritual side of life, but it's an important aspect for you because it'll help you physically balance. You have the ability to allow your spirit to carry you when the body's weak. You have a tendency to think you ought to fight authority to prove personal points of honor even when it costs you. Joining a group that thinks like you will help bring justice to a situation. Your own self-approval issues can get in the way of expressing your opinions that need to be heard. You can be quick to judge others before you gather all the pertinent facts. In most cases, it is a lack of understanding the information and motivations. <clears throat> you strive to bring together what others think of you with what you think of yourself. You can second guess yourself in a heartbeat. You desire, the desire and ability to be a leader is not always recognized until you speak up. Then people are astounded. You don't always do things because you want to, but because it's expected of you. You tend to give too much to others and too little to yourself. Reciprocal appreciation is important to you. You can get involved quickly without knowing all the facts. When you perceive an injustice, those around you attempt to influence you through your emotions. That's not the way to reach you. When you think what has happened is unfair, your first thought is to make things right. Any of that you? Do you listen to my radio show? This is what I want to know. No, I've never heard of you. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder. Yeah, a lot of that was very compelling stuff. I appreciate it. Well, I will bundle it and send it right over to you, and you can see that the computer printed this out. <laughs> I'm fascinated. Christina, thank you for turning me on to this. I'd like to even have you on my show. This is just good radio, good, very interesting, and, uh, you know, it has, it seems profound meaning in my life. So I'll, I'll definitely, I'll have to, you know, decipher what you said again. I'll have to read it again to process some of that, but I... I think there intuitively was some stuff in there that uh, definitely resonated with me. So thank you. Well, the way to get to him, guys, is to tell him how this will influence the future. His personally, but um, especially the universe. He's very interested in, in what's going to happen out there. Sherry, did we pick up any uh, radiation exposure? Okay, I'm, I'm looking at that right now, and I... I'm going to turn the, turn the mic off a little bit because I don't want you to have to hear me typing. So this also checks for radiation exposure. That's fascinating. Now, how does... I, I'm going to have to learn more about this, Christina. How does this happen? What is this? I'm going to send you... I'll send you some links. Okay. Yeah, and we'll talk fast. about it later because it is. It is, and I definitely want to uh, to promote... Sherry and her work as much as possible. Something that I've tried to promote is that there's an amazing opportunity for new industries to be created out of this disaster. And when faced with a catastrophe, the scope, of which is beyond anything that we've ever had to deal with, we need new and creative ways of dealing with it. And that includes mitigation and detox and you know, some of it can be based on research that we have from the past, populations around Chernobyl, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. But it, what it really comes down to is education. And I came across a quote a couple nights ago, and, and I wanted to make sure that I said it on this show. This was from Albert Einstein. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Yes. I have his report here. Uh, and I want him to know that we are giving away software so people can test themselves. We're giving away the class. We're giving away the textbooks, the manuals, because the government is really just they're screwing us. And I want to put these tools in the hands of the people. You have two radioactive isotopes that are high, cesium-137 and xenon-133. They are very similar in frequency. Do we have to break? Yep, we're going to break. And we'll be right back. You're listening to Nuked Radio. That goes sailing somewhere. 
And we are back with Sherry Edwards from Sound Health Options. Sherry, I know you've been paying attention to Fukushima. What do you foresee in terms of the effects of radiation and how does your technology fit into that? What's your vision? We don't have to look into the future because the people are ending up in our lab. They just have this general malaise. They don't know where things are coming from. They, they, their energy's down. They kind of have the flu. They're getting a lot of allergies. We're seeing this every day as people are have been radiated to their core. And we're seeing a surge in cancer. We're seeing a surge in any kind of cell signaling uh, issue. And one of the things that's compounding this, and it almost seems like it's, a, it's deliberate, they've taken the food and t- genetically altered the glutathione and the taurine so that you can't even use the food to fight the incoming radical damage. So we see this uh, and we see it coming up with lots of different, um, just attack on the cell. And wherever the weakest part of the body is, then that's where the attack goes. So here's all of these different kinds of radiation and whether you're getting it from your food or your soil or your water or whatever, we have made a chart of antidotes. So if you've been exposed, and this free computer program can tell you how you've been exposed, and then we give you the antidotes. That's my rose-colored wish for the world, that we take these six softwares, actually seven, and one, people get to know who they really are, just like doing these personality things. People agree with them. That's them. Um, and the next thing is to start to look at your health. Um, in looking at some of Bob's health, immune system, connective tissue, not using minerals right, a little bit of problem with um, kidney and filtering, uh, definitely some decrease in liver function, but not enough Uh, to say there is some gross thing wrong. And that's what Fukushima is doing. It's going in and sort of insidiously uh, picking cells here, 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 and here. And if you sort of do that to a chain and you sort of make some of the links very weak, you know, you can still use the chain, but the first one that goes, all the rest of those weak links are going to go. So I think Fukushima radiation exposure shows you your weak links and then from there we can do something about it if we can keep nutrients up and running you know they're trying to take those apart but we've been working with training people to set up centers in their community and we help them with marketing and whatever else so we give them the bundle of okay here's radiation exposure who's been exposed to what and what can you tell them so This is not, um, I shouldn't say it that way. I find Obamacare, I really call it Obamascare. I find it despicable. Mm -hmm. And And I find it a form of taking away our health. And without health, our quality of life certainly goes down the tubes quick. So we have these free classes. We have free software. They can go to our site, Sound Health options.com there's also free videos we have a free journal and people say well it's free it's no good oh geez this has to be done we are being bombarded by our food our water our air um chemtrails vaccinations and nobody is really able to do much about it because they just come in and say well this was a duly passed law and boy what a crock Let's pass the law so you can read what it is. And I think Obama thinks if he repeats a lie enough, uh, people will begin to believe it. But here's just a few. They've now um, taken insulin away from people over, I think it's 62. But we now have a sound that can provide people insulin. We're running tests on it. They're looking at just killing off people with these ethics panels. If you're over 70 and you're under government care, if you're over 70, they're going to have a meeting with you and they're going to say, well, do you think you're productive enough to get to stay on the planet or should we kill you now? I, you guys think I'm kidding, but go to Obamacare really 
and look and that's online or i'll give it to you and it's on our site it's on the front page in the bottom and you can see what obamacare is doing when you strip away the three things that makes it good you can get your kids insurance um while they're in school there's no um, restriction on previous whatever you had and people who didn't have insurance and are really poor can get it now but those three things don't forgive the garbage that we're being poisoned with why are they doing this are they trying to get rid of us on the planet because there's not enough room well that's garbage also because we already did a presentation to them we showed them the two things they have a problem with with space travel um bone deterioration and muscle traffic atrophy we've solved both of them they don't want solutions and i'm talking about they big pharma p-h-a-r-m-a big farm f-a-r-m big bankers big whatever we are chattel to them did you hear nancy pelosi thing we've got to get people back to work so they can give us more money i feel like a cow uh-huh. and as long as i can give milk and give money to the farmers through my milk then I'm okay and I can stay here. And if not, you know, I'm chopped hamburger. Well, we're just talking about this, you know, on an individual basis. But as I understand it, if we had a bioacoustic center in our town and we saw a trend occurring where, let's say, people were being subjected to a lot of strontium, Mm -hmm. we could actually put an antidote out as a frequency that would help heal that population. Is that correct? that's what I'm hoping I can't say heal we've done it before we've done we've reversed herpes and we reversed uh, age onset leukemia and you know whatever shows up at our door we can usually deal with because the brain is math and this is math medicine and I don't want the government to control it I'm trying to give it to the people so with these five or six free softwares and free classes people have no excuse the information is here to put health back in our hands and we need to become advocates for our own health do we uh we have time to uh check out kurt i don't know let's see what does does he just want to see if he's been exposed to radiation or does he want personality or what would he like uh, well, both of them would be fine, and I could accept you, uh, send you a friend's request on uh, Skype, that is, and um, you could email me the results because uh, I'm actually filling in for another show here at Orion right after uh, Nuked Radio here. So just okay, tell well, me when to go, and I'll go. Okay, well, let me set it up first. What name do you want it under? Uh, Kurt, I guess. It's K U R T C U R T C U R T on bad check. Okay, we're gonna do two profiles on you and so kind of simultaneously. Now I am on uh, headphones right now, but when I disconnect my headphones, you're gonna hear double if I speak or do anything. So as this is happening, I'm gonna to be totally quiet. And if other people could turn off their uh, headphones, then we won't be hearing double. Okay, you'll be talking for about maybe two minutes. Don't stop. Nobody else is supposed to be interfering with what we're doing here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, go. All right. All right. Well, well, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I guess I do a show. I do a show. show. Uh, Uh, You're at. You're at. Room 101, I invite everyone to take a join me Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern time, as well, time as well, Saturday, Saturday 1 to 1 3, 3 p.m. PM. And, uh, I cover uh, a I lot cover of, a lot of, of very topics, topics, mostly, mostly uh, social, uh, social type, type issues, issues right there in, right there in your own backyard, backyard police, Audi, police misconduct, public schools, and the mental health 
this big pharma, big all, pharma of all of these things, things affect, affect us, us right here right on the, you know, on the, the front, front line, line right, right in our right own backyard. backyard. Um, um, recently, recently, I've been covering, been covering a, lot a lot of, of lease brutality that have been some absolutely, some absolutely horrible, horrible cases that have come to my come attention. To my attention. And, and it's it just uh, unbelievable that we were raised to really trust these individuals uh, that, that run around uh, claiming to protect and serve us only to destroy our our confidence, uh, which should, I should say, destroy our confidence uh, when when these individuals are called upon and uh, innocent people end up getting uh, getting injured, getting well, and in, in a lot of cases getting killed. As I recently covered a uh, story of uh, Kelly Thomas, a uh, homeless gentleman who was uh, just beaten uh, unbelievably by six cops. And uh, okay, great. And yes, we are getting to the end of the show, so we will get the scoop from Sherry as soon as we're off, and uh, we will talk about it when we come back on Tuesday, or I'll put it in the archives. Thanks for hanging out with us today, Sherry. It was uh, wonderful to have you on, and we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Stay safe.